In my first review of Missile Command Recharged, I explained I have a pretty strong negative reaction to the anxiety-inducing gameplay of the original Missile Command, and that extended to most ports of the game as well. However, I found myself having a lot of fun with Missile Command Recharged, mainly because the gameplay was updated to give you an upgrade system, and that meant rather than constant failure, you were making not just progress, but also making things easier for yourself, and that allowed you to get progressively better scores. It does mean the leaderboards are a reflection of who put in the time for upgrades, but the game time needed to maximize the upgrade system is less than a few hours, and when I hit the max, my mental dexterity was also up to the game. I had a blast playing Missile Command Recharge, but this new version blows the 2020 update away. It's better in really every regard, with tighter gameplay, more fun power-ups, local co-op, entirely new graphics and sound, and more. It even allegedly has general PC trackball support, though I haven't been able to test it myself. I like the neon retro look of the original, but this new Missile Command Recharge brings the game up to the 2022 standard for the Recharge series. The original Missile Command Recharge was initially released in 2020 for mobile platforms and featured really great touchscreen shooting that worked perfectly on Android and iOS. It was also good on the VCS and was a free game for Indiegogo backers. However, once the Recharge series began anew with Centipede that continued with Asteroids, Breakout, and Beyond, the game's different era of development made it an odd standout, the one game that wasn't like the rest. It's great to see an Atari and Atom Vision give this game an update, as it doesn't just greatly improve the game, but it also puts it in a good position to be discovered by new fans. It now fits right in line with the rest of the lineup, and it seems likely that part of this effort may be about the inevitable Recharge collection that Atari has yet to announce. Over the decades, the controller being used and how well it worked has been the key to whether Missile Command was great on a particular platform, and the same is true for the VCS. Thankfully, the game plays great with either a classic or modern controller, although the real secret to a great score is moving over to a mouse. Use the mouse in one hand and the controller in the other, and use the A button, fire. The mouse could be used with Missile Command Recharge without issue as long as you use something like a keyboard or classic controller to fire, and as long as you keep the target away from the far edges of the screen. Pushing the mouse button or moving to the edge causes the game to briefly freeze. This is actually an Atari OS issue that has been a problem elsewhere, and here's hoping Atari gets this issue permanently fixed. Thankfully, I found the mouse plus classic combo to be perfect and easily the best way to play the game. I suspect a trackball would also be great. I wasn't able to record any real gameplay of co-op, but it seems like a great way to play as well. Achievement hunters will be happy to hear you can succeed in co-op with only one player. The missions add the particularly difficult challenge of limited shots to the mix. I found as long as I had one city remaining at the end, I'd win, even if I spent the final seconds without shots watching the missiles land. People who missed the original Missile Command Recharge can still find it, at least for now, on mobile. And if you purchase the game on VCS, it remains available for future download in the store. However, the 2020 version of the game is not currently available to purchase in the store. I'm glad the original is sticking around on mobile since it's a specifically good experience there. Missile Command's story may be one of inevitable nuclear annihilation along with the anxiety and existential dread of the Cold War, but this recharged version is a redemption story for me. I've finally had fun playing one of Atari's all-time classics. It's thanks to empowering gameplay and a great presentation along with excellent controls on the VCS. Its only negative mark is related to a specific mouse issue in Atari OS, but even then working around it with a classic button proved revelatory and now that the shots land where I want, it's hard to go back to a controller. This feels like the best version of Missile Command ever, making it perhaps one of the best yet recharged games. If you have a home arcade trackball setup, immediately put this game on your list. This entire recharge series is one of the best things Atari's done in decades outside of releasing the new VCS, in my opinion, and it's an exciting time to be an Atari fan. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, including a look at two new games from Orange Pixel and the exciting Atari 50th Anniversary Collection. Subscribing gets these videos in your feed, and liking helps kickstart the channel in search results. Have fun!